Hello everybody, I'm Harold with Nature's Friends and today I, I, this is another question that I get asked for a lot is why are my receptacles getting warm to the touch? Okay, there's several reasons for that. Okay, if you see right here, see that little piece of wire right there? That's the only thing carrying all the current from this to this. So, if you, you got a wire this size, 14 gauge, all right, and if you wrap that around your screw, you see that's going to make a nice tight fit. But if you take and happen to stab it, which is an old timey way, you just stick them in like this, and all you got in there is a little pincher that's pinching it. So, what that's doing is your wires in there, and this little piece of metal spring loaded is just going like this, touching it. So all your currents are traveling through that. Well, if you've got a heater going or a window air conditioner, that is the two culprits that do the most damage because they run for so long and they would just continue running for over three hours and they, these will start warming up. So if you've got your circuits, you'll have one wire coming in here and you know how they loop together and go from one to the next receptacle to the next receptacle. So then, what you got is all your current is going through that little piece of wire right there. So every bit of your load from every receptacle on down the line is pulling that same load right through this right here. So when your receptacles get warm, I had a customer one time, they said, Harold, all of a sudden my receptacles are getting warm going down the hall, they're going everywhere in, that, in, in a certain line, they're, they're warm to the touch and they were actually getting real warm. And what's going to happen when they keep getting real warm is they're going to loosen up and you're going to have an open wire and you're going to lose current to your circuit. Your breaker won't necessarily trip. Your wires just come loose and you just don't have receptacles working. But anyway, she asked me that and I said, have you added anything lately? She said, yeah, we added the window air conditioner. So when they added that window air conditioner, plugged it into their bedroom and overloaded each one of these circuits, going these receptacles going to that air conditioner so they got warm. So if they get warm to the touch, just make sure, and if you got something pulling that much ampacity, go get your, have your electrician come and run you a separate circuit to it. So that way you're not overloading your receptacles, your wire size. And a window unit will take and consume, I don't know, the ampacity, all of them are different. But let's just say a 1500 watt heater. That's going to draw 12.5 amps, okay? That's a lot of current going through each one of these little things. That's why when people are using a 1500 watt heater, I tell them to plug it into a 20 amp circuit. Most of the time that's in the kitchen. But if, you don't, if you're doing them in a bedroom, only use a thousand watts of it. Okay, then that'll be okay. So if you're warm receptacles, see what you're using. And you could have problems coming. And I'll show you a video later on how to look for that problem. Don't forget to hit like. Subscribe to us if you like our channel. And if you have any questions, email me at naturesfriends at embarkmail.com. Thank you.